yes i came across this video i don't know if you have seen this partaken to this man he is going viral on twitter like a week or so back i did a video about sound of freedom and why i don't support it and the thing that i find most troubling about people who do support it is they seem to treat it like it's some sort of a litmus test like if you don't support the film at least you don't care to yourself and the problem with that is it surmises if you do support the film then you're a good person and you don't do those things and life simply isn't that black and white that's about as effective as the old witch trials were like we're gonna bind you and dump you in a lake if you drown good news you're not a witch but if you burst out of the water and fly off into the night you were a witch no one stopped to think that that test was 100 percent fatal only to non-witches but I'd even go so far as to argue there are people who support the film as cover. Like this man, California pastor and former Christian school teacher Barry Fike, who posted about Sound of Freedom, how important it is and how we all need to support it, all while he was sending explicit images of himself to what he thought was a 15-year-old child who he was arranging to meet for sex. But hey, he's not involved in the movie. He just shared a post about it. I mean, he's not like Fabian Marta, who is featured in the credits of Sound of Freedom, and was online bragging about how he helped rescue it from Disney as an angel investor. Yes, let me clear your doubt. When you take a look at this man, watching through his videos on TikTok, what I realized with him, extremely disturbing. He's actually doing videos against this movie, then using, you know, this kind of words, like, if you don't support the movie, you know, they consider you like a bad person. Deep in him, he knows that he is one. You can't pretend to tell me or criticize sabotage movie like this. Then you dare to tell me this. He went further to dig up videos, people's lifestyle. This pastor who shared this uh, was recently discovered. He sent this to a child. You know, for these that not like some sort of custody battle thing. Uh, the statute he's charged under includes removing an unrelated child from their parent without their consent, including confining the child. This is a very serious felony involving a non family member under the age of 14. It has a minimum sentence of 10 years with a potential life sentence. And even before that, he was hosting all ages sugar baby sugar daddy events all ages so like i said before if you want to support the film go ahead and do it but don't be mad at people like myself who look at it and go seems like a bunch of people are just using this tragedy as a cash grab and then now we have the added fun of some people who are going to use it as a smoke screen a distraction to go hey look over here look i'm a good person save the children while they're the ones who are actually preying upon them when i take a look at a man like this trying to bring people who share the movie you know, to use that information to sabotage it the more, it is crazy. You can't even make this story up. Just because of that pastor who took up, shared this movie, when I was doing his thing, now you are now attributing to the whole team of the movie. It is just like in line of a video I put out a few days ago where this woman was going crazy about this movie, dropping bars upon bars, you know, how people should not go and look the movie simply because of her egos, her local thought, her hatred. Then at the end of the day, I realized people like these are actually doing the same thing. If you tell me that this movie is bad, I want to actually know the reason why it is bad. Hollywood elites are completely freaking out right now. Republicans are constantly telling on themselves. Case in point, this. He got arrested. Yes, you might have seen this training on social media. I've seen a lot of videos partaking to this, surfacing on Twitter, TikTok. Now, when you take a look at some of this video, they are very fast, you know, in jumping into reporting. These same people uh, did not do this to promote the movie, but when they realized an investor who contributed just $500, that is where they are so excited 
to discourage people about this movie. Now, they talked about conspiracy theories, and I believe from it, they are already concluding, oh, it was a conspiracy theory movie. I will read out this article so you can understand exactly what is actually going on. Fabian Marta, whose name appeared in Sound of Freedom Credit for helping growth fund the anti blockbuster film, is charged. That is a story according to this news published by the Daily Mail. If you click on Google Sounds of Freedom, you will see a lot of articles just within the space of 24 hours publishing, particularly to this. One of the founders of film Sounds of Freedom has been arrested for kick El Chai, according to court record. Fabian Mata, 51, was one of thousands of donors who gave funds for the productions of the film based on former Department of Homeland Security agent to Impala's effort against Chai. The St. Louis, Missouri resident was charged felony Chai kick. Last month, the Sound of Freedom movie tackles a very tough subject and took extraordinary effort to bring it to movie theater. Matter wrote on Facebook in a now deleted post as reported by Newsweek. Tim, I'm proud to have I'm proud to have been a small part of it. If you see the movie look for Fabian Mata and family at the very end of the credit, Marshall reportedly added, Okay, now, Newsweek had to put out this information and is spreading people saying all sorts of things. I had to check to see if there is an article that published the exact amount of money he contributed. It was $510. It is actually news to Libras. And I've seen consecutives coming out on Twitter to say they should refund this money. Which to me was okay. They even quoted people. Harvard contributed this to Jefferson. I don't want to go there that they should refund all that money if they want to come to talk about this. When you go fund something, nobody know who you are. It is your intention. Nobody force you to do that. So if you get up and commit a crime, you should be punished. That is simple. So people should not sit and say, oh, because he contributed, oh, he go fund this. That is the theory we are struggling to pass. But they have actually forget to, you know, pass out a message the movie is all about. Years later, after Catherine's telling me this, I get a phone call from Mel Gibson. And Mel Gibson says, hey, I got these kids in, in, in Ukraine, these orphans who are, I think they're in the war zone. Can you go get them out? <laughs> and I'm like, what? Like, Two signs right there. Well, when you're, mm -hmm. I've always been brought up. And life is so short. P. Goldberg and The View. I am no racist is what Jason Aldean had to say.